Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm using the official dice set from Dimension 20, which they sent to me. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Five beer cheese pub rolls. These rolls are made using local Grand Rapids beer from Perrin Brewing Company. The clock app has once again taken issue with me using sharp implements. So today I'm just gonna be using psychic damage. Next up, let's roll for main. Four leftovers. Oh. The leftovers I have today are a bit of a hodgepodge. I have two McDonald's chicken nuggets <laughs> and two buffalo wings. Okay, I'm we need to talk. As someone who is understanding of keeping if you order a lot of fast food, especially when I was in college, I used to do it in college a lot. I'd order like five or six burgers because they were really cheap, and then eat like two or three, and then keep the rest in the fridge, and then have those over like the next two days because I was broke as a joke. I've never ever kept two nuggets, ever. Two nuggets is too far. I'm a big fan of using what you got and often what you got. Uh, me too. I'm a big, I am a big pr proprietor of trying not to waste shit. Even nowadays, you know, where I'm not broke anymore. Like, I, I, I do okay now. Thank God. And honestly, really, because of stream and chat and how supportive you guys are. But I still kind of live the same way. Like, I hate wasting shit. It pisses me off. But even I am not going to save two McDonald's chicken nuggets. That's too far for me. When you have a toddler, is small amounts of leftover food. Let's roll for cheese. Five Swiss cheese. My Swiss cheese today has a few more holes. Hello there. Should pair nicely with the chicken. No problems Already here. Already on the list. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Two celery and nine jardinera. This is kind of mid, but we'll make it work. It's not my favorite vegetable, but at least it goes with the toddler makes wings. sense. Oh, so you're add right. Some crunch to this sandwich and help me get Babies. my fiber for the day. Giardinera is a Italian relish of pickled vegetables in oil or vinegar. This one's in oil and it's the mild kind because I have GERD. It actually has celery in it already, but also carrots, cauliflower, peppers, olives, a whole bunch of stuff. Digestional check. It's pretty tasty. Digest should go well with our chicken. Jar Next up, let's roll wild magic. Digestional for extra okay. sauce, hey, dude. You so know we're what I mean. Add another d20 to our sauce roll. All right, last but not least, it's our two d20 sauce roll five dill mayo and 15 Branston pickle. I think this dill mayo will be nice. Typically have ranch or blue cheese with my buffalo wings, so this should work out pretty well. You said ranch or blue cheese. You, you can't you can't say both, you have to pick one. Are you a blue cheese or a ranch? You're not allowed to do both, you must stand and fight. I stand in fights on the blue cheese side because blue cheese is just way better. Ranch is boring. Ranch is for kids. It all tastes the fucking same. You can have shitty ranch and good ranch are very, very different, are very, very close together. The worst ranch and the best ranch taste so similar, while the worst blue cheese tastes like absolute dog doo doo. But the top level blue cheese is so far and beyond the top level ranch, it's not even funny. People choose ranch because it's safe, but blue cheese is by f Hear me out. You have to get the blue cheese that is refrigerated. You have to, like, you go to the store, like Trader Joe's typically actually has it and it's good. You have to buy it, it's not off the shelf, it's bought out of the fridge. It has to be out of the fridge because it has real milk in it. That slaps like a truck. It is so much better than the sh ranch that everyone dies their hills on. But you know what, though? That's okay, because we don't have to follow the pack of the mindless, mindless ranch followers when we have the true, true messiah of blue cheese. And I'm sorry you can't see that. Four extra sauce. So we're going to add another extra D20 sauce. to our sauce roll. All right, last but not least, it's our two D20 sauce roll. Five dill mayo and 15 Branston pickle. What is Branston dill pickle? Mayo will be nice. Typically have ranch or blue cheese with my buffalo wings, so this should work out pretty well. That's what I was looking for. I have been waiting since season one to roll Branston pickle. It's been on the list Ooh. ever since then. Branston pickle is a chutney of pickled vegetables that comes to us from England. The sauce on the vegetables oh, no. has oh, kind of a oh, you lost me. flavor. I don't trust, a little bit like balsamic I don't trust the Brits with food. We got our sandwich I don't trust up. them. Let's get our toothpicks in to hold it together. 
I don't trust him. And we're gonna go with an unarmed strike. I'm sorry. Cut it in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, another interesting one today. I find it kind of funny that I got two different kinds of pickled vegetable mixtures in the same sandwich. Oh, oh and I'm nugget. happy to finally have rolled Ranston Pickle on the show after something like 100 episodes. Let's see how it tastes. The roll looks fire, though. Okay, well, the Branson Pickle and the Jardinera have two distinct flavors, but they work pretty well together. And they mesh pretty well with the buffalo sauce, too. Not sure the nuggets are really pulling their weight, though, but I guess that's to be expected. Overall, not a bad lunch. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10, and I'm going to call it the Pickle Chick. Wubba lubba dub dub. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome okay. to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these blue and green glow-in-the-dark dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thank you. Let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Or make that roll for lettuce. Ooh. Everyone say hi to Morgan. She'll be the one in the comments very mad that we're calling this a sandwich and not using bread today. Next up, let's roll for our main. Wait, did he just call somebody out like that hard? Holy f He's evolving as a content creator. I love it, dude. He's, he's entering his evil arc. Two, pickled herring. This pickled herring and sour cream sauce is how I was introduced Whoa! to pickled herring. Oh, no! Why does that look like somebody took a jar of mayo and stuffed it full of tuna? When I was a kid. Back then, I liked it okay, but it hasn't really stood Dude, the that, like, the actual, time for You know, me. like the, 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 the shiver up the spine. Like, goes, I just felt that, like, all the way Four, up. Havarti. All right, well, at least we got a pretty all solid right, Havarti's cheese. fire. Last time we got a lettuce wrap, literally everything was mush. All right, let's roll for our roughage. Three pickled okra and ten pickles. Wow, that's pretty funny. So now we have pickled herring, pickled okra, and pickles. I mean, flavor-wise, we're still kind of all in the hey, same lane here. Why do you cut them with here. a scissor? The sour cream with the pickled herring oh, kind of ends up tasting like okay, tartar fair. sauce anyway, and often tartar Didn't sauce you take out has the seeds? pickles in it. These particular pickles that I have today were homemade by a friend of ours, so that's cool. Oh, Just homemade pickles. pickles going on. Next up, let's roll wild magic. Ten. Wait, I have a question, chat. Why do some pickles have the seeds in the middle and some don't, but all cucumbers have the seeds in the middle? How does that work? Pickled ginger. Okay. I mean, yeah, I do have a lot of pickled things on the list. It's one of the ways that I'm able to keep stock. This is up literally this the pickled series, sandwich. But I usually don't get them all at once. Last there but not are least, seedless the cucumbers? Roll. I didn't know that. If we get something pickled, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. 19 mustard dill sauce how <laughs> what the dice really had pickles okay i've been seeing this the whole day all right i'm in pickles on the brain today i guess now we have the task of trying to put this thing together let's uh get our toothpicks in here to just, yeah, just give is, it up. Just give it up. This is probably not going to work very just, well, huh? Just give it up. All right. Well, we're just going to do the best we can here. And use a little bit of psychic blades here. Get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. I feel like you just, just cutting it just made it worse. All right. Well, our second lettuce wrap on the show. And I'm not sure if this one ended up more stable or less stable than the last one. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, not sure about this one. The Ooh. fish really shines through. I'm a big fan of pickles. Love pickled things. It's not doing enough to cover the herring, in my opinion. The lettuce adds no flavor at all, so I don't even have the taste of bread to help me out. I'm going to give this one a four, and I'm going to call it Pickles All the Way Down. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again on Wednesday. A great shirt. Also, do you guys see the comment over here? So, funny story. I'm 30 weeks pregnant. Only craving cravings have been pickles. And I'm the one who sent you those dice. That's tough. And welcome to episode two of Rolling on the Road, a series where I let dice decide my road trip meals. Okay. Wait. Wait, is this a thing? Today I'm at Sea Life Aquarium in Auburn Hills, Michigan, and I'm going to be making a sandwich for me and some sea turtles. Sea Life Aquarium Wait, in Michigan in. is home to two sea turtles, Benson and Carr. Sea turtles are currently endangered, but Benson and Carr were both in boating accidents and are thus unreleasable in the wild. I'm fortunate we must have missed that I get the to first spend some time with them today and make them a sandwich. I've stacked my list with sea turtle friendly options, and anything that I roll that they can't have will be replaced with something that they can. 
So without further ado, let's get rolling. All right, first up, we're gonna start with the bread roll, which is mostly not actually bread. Three, cucumber. We're gonna cut our cucumber in half here and basically make a little submarine sandwich with it. And we're gonna hollow out some of it so that our ingredients won't just slip out from between the two halves of cucumber. Next up, let's roll for our main. Is this for the sea turtle? Three, salmon. Got a nicely cooked salmon filet here. Are they gonna have chunked up? Sandwiches? This was definitely the safest fish option that was on the list for me, so I'm. Or is he gonna eat that. the sandwich? Next, let's roll for cheese. Who's eating the sandwich? Five. Colby Jack. The turtles can't have cheese, so this one's just for me. I oh. considered not even doing a cheese roll, but I like my sandwiches with cheese. Oh. When I make theirs, we'll replace it with a turtle-friendly option. Oh, it's. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. Two bell pepper and five cucumber. Got some red bell oh. pepper today, which will add some sweetness and a little bit of crunch, though this is on an entire cucumber, so it's kind of crunchy already. <laughs> and speaking of cucumber, here's our cucumber kind of on the inside of our cucumber sandwich. This type of thing seems to happen to me all the time on Roll for Sandwich. Next up, let's roll Wild Magic. One, Furukake. Furukake is a Japanese rice seasoning, which contains nori, which is seaweed, so sesame cool. seeds, and some other ingredients. I mean, the sandwich looks and horrendous, but... Least, it's our D20 <laughs> sauce roll. 11, Melinda's Green Sauce. This sauce is a blend of jalapeno, green tomato, cilantro, and a few other I don't other think things. they can eat that, can they? Nice punch of flavor. All right, let's see if we can get this sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. One sea turtle sandwich. All right, let's see how our creation tastes. He's so cute. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see how they like it. The turtles are both target trained to know when it's their time to be fed. The red and white targets signal to the turtles to come get their food. All right, car, here you go. Oh, that's a nice big bite. I think he likes it. Holy sh he's right, going ham. Here you go, buddy. You may have noticed the weights on the back of both of their shells. That's because due to their accident, there's air trapped in their shells, which makes it hard for them to swim correctly. The weights help to combat that. This was a great experience that I will always remember, and I hope that they enjoyed their sandwiches. I think they did. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my YouTube channel for an extended cut featuring more behind the scenes footage. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. That's so cool.